Hello? Hi, mate, it's Mike Grundy. All right. Yeah, I'm Lenny from uh, MMA Unhinged. I'm joined by my colleague Josh from MMA Unhinged. And um, uh, do you want to get straight into it? Yeah, we can do, yeah. Yeah, ha ha before, we, before we start, um, I'm going to ask you how was training? Yeah, training was good. Tough, tough session for a Friday night. Yeah, it was good. We did more with the bar tonight and pads. I've done pads as well, boxing pads, so... Mm. All right, we're going to start off. Um, so making your UFC debut in your home country... Uh, was it special and uh, how, how did how did it kind of feel? Yeah, I mean, for me it was great because coming towards the uh, last couple of fights in my um, pro career, it was a bit of a step up and then obviously the last two fights that I've had in the UK, it's been a step up and then obviously the last couple of fights that I've had in the UK, it's been a step up and then obviously the last couple of fights that I've had in the UK, it's been a step up and then obviously the last couple of fights that I've had in the UK, it's been a step up and then obviously the last couple of fights that I've had in the UK, it's been a step up and then obviously the last couple of fights that I've had in the UK, it's been a step up and then obviously the last couple of fights that I've had in the UK, it's been a step up and then obviously the last couple of fights that I've had in so obviously you train alongside uh, like Darren Till and stuff. What what's it like training alongside him? Like training against like a top fighter like that. I mean it's great. Yeah, I mean we've got a good team around us. There's mm. there's a few there's a few young lads coming through. There's obviously Darren. There's me. There's Tom. He's in the UFC. We've got a lot of good 
young pros coming through who's fighting on Prabellum, which is a big show that's coming through right now. And it's got some good amateurs. So, like I said, the atmosphere is really good now in training. And, you know, we're, we're all fighting, so everyone's hungry and, and training hard. But, yeah, it's, it's, you know, in Team Carbon, there's always, there's always um, great athletes and good fighters. So, you know, it's, it's just, just normal, really, training at Sardar Darren as well. Yeah. Uh, um, going back to uh, Darren, um, there was rumours of him trying to uh, step in at UFC 24A against Jared Carnier. Was that was that a possibility or was it just build up? I don't know how business to talk about, but, um, so I can't really talk about them. I don't really know much about that. Yeah. Alright, okay. Uh, we'll, we'll move on then. Um, obviously, British MA fighters are not really known to be wrestlers. Are you trying to bring attention to guy trying to bring attention to wrestlers like people from England can actually wrestle at a good level? Yeah, that's, that's something that's a goal that I want because I'm very passionate and about wrestling. I have my own club in Wigan. Mm. You know, I've got a lot of good good young kids coming through in, in wrestling. So yeah, I want to build up the, the sport in our country and the more I'm on T V wrestling and people's mentioning me being a wrestler, the better really, you know, it's gonna it's going to help the sport in the UK. It's going to be. I want people to look at me and say, you know, I want to go and try wrestling because my Grundy's a wrestler. You know, that's that's what I want. So, yeah, that's that's what's one of my goals. So your next fight is obviously at UFC London again on March twenty first. Um, how do you see yourself matching up against Macron or Armani? Like, what do you see you going in there and doing? It's a great, it's a great matchup. Hmm. You know, he's a good wrestler. I'm a good wrestler. It could either be a great, great um, stylistic match where we're going to end up in good scrambles and wrestling and jiu-jitsu techniques and stuff, or it could end up cancelling each other right and we could end up just trying to knock each other right. So either way, it's going to be a, it's going to be a good fight for the fans. You know, I feel he, he is he is a household name in the UFC. He's fought some good guys. You know, he fought his last fight was in Madison Square Garden against the guy who's ranked in the top fifteen. So he he's on his he was on his way up and. You know, I'm, I'm, I appreciate the UFC giving me this matchup in my second fight. It's exactly the match I wanted. But stylistically, I think it makes a great fight. Uh, when Darren Till got, um, hasn't been announced for London, it was it was quite surprising that Darren Till wasn't actually announced on London. So, uh, how come that didn't come about? Was it was it because of uh, they wanted to fight elsewhere, or was it? Again, I don't know much about that. Like, All right, okay. Me, so, in, in Mark One's uh, recent fight, um, he struggled with his takedown defense. He got taken down. You know, he got controlled a bit, a, li- a little bit. Would you try and maybe try and take that down? Try and exploit that? Who, who's that? Sorry, but I missed that bit. Oh, uh, in Mark One's recent fight, he got taken down and quite. You know, he got gassed out in his last fight. He got taken down, got controlled a little bit. Uh, would that be like uh, what you were trying to exploit? Yeah, yeah, see, I noticed obviously he got he got very tired against uh, Shane Burgos. It was a good fight. He came out strong in his first round. You know, he showed some good stuff in his first round, but he did he did tire really quickly. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I'm I, I put a lot of pressure on when I fight, especially if I'm mainly wrestling. My last fight, I couldn't wrestle too much due to an injury before the fight, so you yeah, didn't get a chance to show my wrestling. But when I do wrestle, you know, it's, it's a very intense fight for the other person, definitely. So. I'm sure he's going to feel that, you know, when he fights me as well. Oh, so after this fight, like, win or lose, uh, would you like to fight elsewhere in the world, like, instead of just England? And uh, if so, where where would you like to fight? Yeah, eventually, obviously, I'd like to get out to America and start fighting, but I definitely want to be on that. I would like to be on that Dublin card. Dublin, obviously, been announced in August. That'd be a great show to fight on. You know, I've seen, obviously, the Irish crowd, the team uh, very energetic. <coughs> And I think it'll be a great place to fight. It kind of ties in well for me after London. You know, it's about three and a half, four months after London. So that'd be perfect for me to fight in Dublin. Hopefully, you know, when I win, hopefully it's against the guy who's in the top 20, top 15, really. That's what I want. I want to be climbing those ranks quite quickly this year. Uh, Following on from that, who would you love to fight at Dublin? Would you like someone... Obviously, you just said you want someone in the top 20, but who would you like to fight if there was a name on... I don't really got a name in mind right now, but I'm going to keep watching, you know, the fights mm-hmm. as we go along and, and look, at, look who's, who's going to match up well for me, for the, who's somebody who's in the top 15, really. 
because I think Mac one he's definitely been in the top 20 he might be ranked 20 just out of the top 20 right now I don't know I've not checked but um, I definitely want to fight to somebody in the top 15 so obviously your last fight was your first TKO win in your and you MMA career. Was that the plan heading into the fight, or like did you see some holes in his striking game? Yeah, I did. I mean, he kind of showed me from the second that you know the bell went really. He just kind of showed me what he wants to do. You know, I was taking take down. He was showing me his knee, so he's always expecting me to take down. So which is obviously what I have done in the past. So I thought, you know what, I'll, try, I'll start, I'll start throwing some shots, and I was connecting a lot. You know, and obviously in the second round, I, I found, I found the perfect shot and managed to take out him. But like I say, he just showed me, he showed me too much too early, really. But it just made me comfortable on my feet, and I thought I'll take him you know. Uh If I'm correct, uh, Colin Heron is your head coach. Yeah, that's correct. Uh, what's it like? To, what's it? Was he like as a coach? Was he? Was he give to you what like kind of advice and like? experience I guess. Yeah, he you knows exactly how to work all his athletes. He's very strict. <laughs> um, he gets the best out of all his athletes. He knows how to work each athlete differently. You know, he understands that I'm very competitive and, and uh, you know he just gives me a little little bit of a goal and, and he knows I'm gonna work towards it. So he's you know he is he is he is a very good I've I've been coached all over the world in, in freestyle wrestling and some of the top coaches Collins like the best best I've ever come across coaching wise you know he's really good in your corner you, you do uh, you do gain a lot of confidence just from Colin being in your corner uh, you know so I mean like looking at all these um, a lot of these top coaches like Greg Jackson and stuff you get awards and stuff Colin 110% up there if not better these guys uh, so going back to uh, representing England and Great Britain in freestyle wrestling what was it like was it was it surreal England, Jay was like it was a goal that I've had since I was, you know, six year old from starting wrestling. You know, you looked up to athletes in freestyle wrestling, people who was wrestling in the Olympics and the, the Commonwealth Games and stuff. And that was just something I always wanted to be and just be a wrestler, really. I wanted because it still wasn't big in our country. But me growing up, I always had the, the mindset to to uh, make wrestling big in our country because I wanted to be a wrestler and I wanted to go to the world championships and get gold and Olympic and get gold just so wrestling gets big in our country. Now the goal's still not changed. I'm just doing it a different way, really. You know, I'm, I'm kind of building. I want to build wrestling in our country by by going through the yes, I suppose. But yeah, that, that that's something something I always wanted to do and I always wanted to medal in the Commonwealth Games, which I managed to do. Yes, yeah, so it was it was a dream. All right, so in the Commonwealth Games, you won a bronze medal. Is that the biggest achievement yeah. up to your date in your career? I mean, yeah, it was. It was in, in freestyle wrestling. Yeah, I mean, from, yeah, I got I got twelfth in the world as well, which was was a quite a big deal because in wrestling, there's only one world championships per year, and there's only one world champion. So you know, and there's a lot of stages you have to go through too in order to get to the world championships. So I got 12th in the world, which was a good result. But Commonwealth Games got me the most recognition, the most publicity, I suppose. But yeah, then to a uh, similar, really. So uh, going on, the favourite division at the moment is like stacked right now. Who do you see yeah. holding the title by the end of 2020? Uh, I thought Volkanovski put on a good performance against Max Holloway. You know, that was a that was a good performance. I did think Max Holloway was going to win that, but you know, Volkanovski turned up and he put on a great performance. Um, you know, I mean, I think Sabi's got a good chance. Sabi's um, very talented, I think. Uh, maybe in a few years you might have a chance to fight Volkanovski. How would you kind of see yourself match up against him? I think style is, yeah, it'd be good. You know, it's, it's a good match-up. You know, he, seems to, he looks very strong. I feel like I'm very strong. And, you know, his strike is decent. Even if they down to defense is different, but I think I could definitely grind out that fight and get a win. So there's a, a lot of fires at the moment, like coming up from the UK, such as like yourself, Till, Nathaniel Wood. How do you see him being the next like UK champion, if there is one? Who do I see being next UK yeah, champion like, or somebody else? Yeah, like who do you see him? Be like, if there was one person that would become 
the next like, champion from the UK, who do you think it would be? It's got to be Darren Till. <laughs> the next one, yeah. So the, do next, you... the next one is going to be top five. You so... know, from UK. I mean, obviously you've got Leon Edwards knocking about in the yeah. top ten, top five or whatever. But I've got to say Darren, yeah. He's the closest to it. He's already, he's already had that experience where he's gone for a title. So... He's great right now. I feel, I feel Darren's the next. So if Adesanya and Till did fight, would how would you see that going? Pretty stylistically, it's a great, great matchup. Darren's very, very clever on his feet. Yeah. I think, I think, I think he edges that fight. Very confident, you know. In, in Darren, obviously, I train with him every day, and I think you know he's, he's the more well-rounded fighter than, than Adesanya. I think, uh, I think that's it. I think, uh, thank yeah. you for thank you for your time, and uh, enjoy no the rest of your evening. And uh, good luck at the fight. We'll be there to watch you in attendance. So hopefully we can see you get the win. Oh great! Thank you for the interest. Thank you. Thanks, man. Bye. Bye.